Guys, hi, welcome to how to hook up your ClickFunnels with your GetResponse. We wanna just integrate the two, just kinda of hook them together so that way they're talking to each other. As you notice on here, I'm inside the ClickFunnels. You will see your funnel here, Get Paid High Ticket Commissions, okay? Before we even click on that, do me a favor, up here in the account, you will see integrations, okay? On the get response up here in my account, you will see integrations. Okay, let's go ahead and open that. Just click on, sometimes you can right click and open in a new tab. Then that way they're in over here is your integrations. Okay, there is get response here. Edit that. Okay, it's going to need the API key. Over here in get response, let's go ahead and find that API key. Okay, over here it is API boom click that you will see the default api key there's even a copy so go ahead and copy that and then over here on get response if you need to if that's not showing up there all you have to do is type it in there it is just click it right there and then click on add new integration that will pop up this page and then you just paste your api key right here okay and then you press the update key boom that actually just connects your get response with ClickFunnels, okay? Now you need to add a new list. It's very simple. You have you let's create a campaign for this funnel. Over here it says your current campaign. This is sometimes tricky. This is very easy once you understand the workflow and where everything is. But if you do click down here, you will see a button that says create a campaign. Let's go ahead and create the campaign. Okay, give it a name and this will walk you through the campaign. So this is what your leads will see. So make sure you name it appropriately. So then now all you have to do is hook that up. So now you can go back, click on your funnel in ClickFunnels. You're just gonna open up your funnel and I'm just gonna right click and open up in a new one. So the, what you will see is your funnel steps here, the opt-in page, the sales page, the bonus page, and, and then the terms pages, right? So then we'll just click on edit page and watch how easy this is, okay? Up here under settings, you will see the integrations. All you have to do is click on integrations, okay? And let's go ahead and connect it. When you integrate here, you will see the get response there. That'll pop up. You want your leads to be added to a campaign. We This campaign here that we just created, you need a refresher. There is a refresh list from API. Okay, and now it has updated the list. You just go down and you'll see, okay, here's the U Economy Custom, boom, and it shows connected. Now anyone who opts in will be placed in the, this campaign, okay? Now, if you go to the campaign, Remember, all the time you can go here, there's a little bit of button right there, and then you could also scroll down to that list, okay? Here, and then your settings is always gonna be right there beside it, okay? They've made it very small for you to see, so you can click on it right there, and then this is your settings for this campaign, okay? This is what your leads will see and then this is the permission, okay? We want to enable an opt-in, double opt-in, because you do get, you uh, get response charges you per, you know, for a certain amount of leads. And so it, you don't wanna be storing a bunch of bots or a bunch of fake names or a bunch of, so you want them to uh, double opt-in. And this is where you customize that email message, okay? And then here under the, cu uh, the custom URL, Okay, you're going to find that your users are going to come here. They're going to opt in. They're going to want to go to this page, right? So this go sets and goes to the next page, but there is the URL right here. And we can just copy and paste that into here. Okay, so you could copy and paste that in right there. And so when people opt in and they confirm, they're going to be redirected to this page. Okay, so when they opt in here, they're automatically going to go to the next page. And then when they confirm their email, they're gonna be sent back to this page. And you always wanna, like I said, you always wanna keep that on the confirmation 
Uh, so that way you're not storing a bunch of fake leads or bots. Your goal is build trust, build a relationship, and if they can't confirm or check their email when you're, when you're sending them, chances are that's a bot or somebody that doesn't wanna do business with you, okay? So there's no sense in emailing them anyway. So you wanna make sure you've confirmed that and then that way you have nothing but double opt-in verified real leads. So, and that's it. That's how you hook up your ClickFunnels. It is very easy. I'm gonna do another video on how you can load up the email messages so they be sent out from day one, day two, day three. And I'm gonna give you our six day follow up email sequence written by our professional copywriter. Just to review, it's very simple. You're gonna integrate here, integrate, click on integrate to get your API key here, okay? You're just going to hook the two up so they're talking to each other under here accounts and then you're going to add the get response if you have a different one it works exactly the same way with mailchimp with aweber with uh, actionetics with active campaign any of those that's how you would do it you're just grabbing that api key and pasting it right here now they're talking to each other okay and then to get to your funnel, you just click on that get paid and you'll see your custom funnel here. And then you can edit the first page, click on edit, and now that loads it up, okay? Now, when you click on integration, it'll say not connected. And so then you just go to get response, add to campaign and select a list, okay? Now it'll show connected and then you save it. Boom, that's ready to go. Okay, so that's very, very easy. And if you need any programming integrations, remember down below is our custom programmer. You do get one hookup from our uh, custom program and that's on me, okay? So thanks a bunch and I'll see you on the next training video.